Jerusalem, city of many cultures, sacred to three religions and central to the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. This is West Jerusalem, the Jewish side of the city. And this is Arab East Jerusalem, occupied by Israel but claimed by the Palestinians as the capital of their future state. Right now I'm driving along the Green Line. This used to be the border until Israel captured East Jerusalem in 1967. These days it's a busy road linking the north to the south of the city. And it's just one example of how Israel has tried to turn the whole of Jerusalem into its undivided capital. A key part of Israel's strategy has been to change the demographic balance of East Jerusalem. Housing developments for Jews have been built in the heart of Palestinian neighborhoods, like here in Ras al -Amud. Also, a ring of Jewish settlements has been built around the outskirts of East Jerusalem, cutting it off from important Palestinian towns in the West Bank. What you see here is the patchwork balkanization of the volcanic core of the conflicts between Israelis and Palestinians to such an extent that a political division of the city will not be possible. So uh, what you see here is uh, the death by a thousand cuts of the two-state solution in the most sensitive area of the conflict. And here, the infrastructure of occupation. Israel is building a light rail system which will form a concrete link between the city centre and a number of Jewish settlements built on occupied Palestinian land. It's part of Israel's master plan to cement its grip on the whole of the city. The Palestinians' claim to East Jerusalem has solid foundations in international law. But Israel has been building foundations of a more tangible kind. The physical reality of Jerusalem has changed in Israel's favor. And the Palestinians need all the political support they can gather to keep alive the dream of East Jerusalem as their capital. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.